Hi there, my name is Connor Campbell, agronomist for Hutchinson's. I'm back here at our ANIC trial site to have a look at the biostimulant trials that we've been conducting throughout the season. So this year in some of our treated plots we have been using a biostimulant product. One of the reasons for using this type of product is to help with stress relief and this year plants have been under a tremendous amount of stress from the drought conditions that they're facing. So last year we saw some good responses, particularly when it came down to specific weight and grain quality, therefore an increase in yield. This year we're looking at a programmed and a split approach. So the guard plot on the front right hand side has received an application at T1, T2 and will receive an application at T3. We then have three more plots which will receive a single application at T1, another T2 and the final one at T3 to understand which particular timing yielded the biggest response and what the response would be to a programmed approach. So here we have two sets of plants. On the left hand side, a set of plants from the treated fungicide plot, but that has not received any biostimulant. And on the right hand side, we have plants from the treated fungicide plot that has received a biostimulant. Overall, in terms of root length, we can see that the roots are relatively similar in length. However, where the biostimulant has been applied, you can see the increase in root density and root hairs compared to the untreated plot on the left hand side. So all the plots will be taken to yield and the yield and specific weight will be analyzed between the untreated and treated fungicide plots as well as the untreated and treated biostimulant plots to see what the differences are and whether the increase in root hairs and root density in a season like this where plants are struggling tremendously for water has helped with yield and quality.